Full disclaimer, I actually broke this whole set while setting it up for the review. So I'm actually very furious about this and I might have a little bias. So disclaimer. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Scott, here the bricks. Let's go to review. Today we have set number 10298, the Vespa 125, and introduced in 1960. This was released recently at 1,106 pieces. It goes for $100 retail, and it's the 18 and older gang, the, the adult collection build, I guess you can say. And really, it takes the patience of an adult to build the set and to deal with the frustrations that it gives you. It comes included with a stupid helmet and a stupid bouquet, which looks pretty, but it barely hangs on the end of it with that little basket. It comes in all pastel blue and the nice dark navy blue on the top for the cushions. I purchased this at Target right after I left Brickfest, well, a, a small Brickfest, and I didn't purchase it there, and I guess I had like a buyer's remorse or guilt about not getting it so i was waiting to go eat and there's a target nearby so i went and by and i picked it up and i i regret it because i didn't get my vip points now i have it i thought it'd be interesting for a review and honestly like i said it's just frustration is the one word i get into it and as as calming as the blue colors it has on it i'm just it just pisses me off just looking at it so let's go ahead and get started with it all right so the build itself wasn't a bad experience it was very long took me about six hours to do it and the all pastel coloring was kind of boring when it comes into you know colors in the set you're very monotonous and it just happens over and over again but the navy blues and the blacks and the grays were a nice addition the wheels are actually some of my favorite parts because they're white walled which i didn't want to touch the set because i feel like it's going to fall apart again let me are white walled which is the first time lego ever does white wall and it comes with a wonderful, if I can come and show you. Oh my fucking, oh my fucking, okay. All right, we're back. I don't, I don't know what to say. This thing's not fucking having me today. I just, I can't, I can't deal with the attitude I'm getting from the set. I just want to show you the stupid white walls and the new tread on the tires because they're really interesting. And I think that's the only driving point for this set is to get that. Hopefully we'll see those soon in older sets and well, you know what I mean? Like older design vehicle sets. And we see these and other sets coming along the line, along the line of more car builds and vehicle builds because they're really cool to see white walls. I think it's very interesting I'm trying to move it on oh, this flimsy shit. It's so fucking flimsy. So that's really cool. <laughs> this is such a disaster. I hate it. Anyway, enough of the cons, even though there's more and I can just get, let me just be positive for a second. I really enjoy the spare wheel, the seating, the little springs underneath it for, I guess, you know, for the comfort ride. I like the gas tank addition on the top. And I love these side hatches, I suppose it's called. I love the curving and the designs of the feet rests we can say that i think that's really amazing what they did especially with the little grips right there if you can see that you put your feet at i like the little kickstart right there the stickers are not annoying and i love personally the license plate and the tail light which was one of the last things to fall apart on me this basket i don't care much for because i feel like it's really flimsy just because you're only hanging on by one by two stud and it holds this whole thing and it's fallen on top of me countless amount of times but the basket itself is actually a pretty interesting build i like the floor the flowers that comes with it the bouquet is very nice this gives me this basket piece gives me jordica vibes mainly because it's the brown and it uses the jordica arms right here on the side as it clips in and my other favorite part is the engine with its little i'm not sure what that is actually and the uh kickstand we have here which the rubber ends to keep it firm and i really enjoy this part i actually like anytime lego makes a lot of engine work internals and you just fucking put this back on there god damn it dude okay we're good I don't want to mess with that. Let's leave it be. One of the biggest cons, I think, in the set is this, the actual steering piece. The headlight is amazing. That's the headlight. 
and the handlebars are the coolest part on this section. And this is 360. I don't know if I built this correct, to be honest with you. I was missing a lot of pieces, and when I broke it, I was trying to get the pieces back and try to fix it, and I realized that I'm actually missing a lot of pieces that I didn't build originally. So I actually, I'm kind of thankful for it breaking, so at least I can get those extra pieces on it and get 100% correct. But this right here doesn't feel right to me because it has a 360 turn. And it pretty much goes all the way around town, like so, which makes it really flimsy. And this part is low enough in the basket, but it just doesn't feel stable enough. Like this whole build is 90% stable. Like this is besides that falling apart all the time, but this right here feels completely rock hard. <laughs> and I like it because that shows you how well they can Lego can design something so sturdy and, and held together. And I enjoy those builds that don't feel flimsy. But when you come to the front end here, especially with this front fender, you're just, it's just like, it's wobbles, it's not held together properly. I think they should have done a better job of that. And I feel like the wheels are too big for the actual wheelbase of the fenders. Because when you kick the stand, you can go, but it just, yeah, and that's an issue. That's an, see, it's annoying and it's stupid. And then that happens, it falls apart. So you can't even have that, so it doesn't even look cool. But it can glide, and it does it fairly well. But you don't want to hold on to it because it's just so flimsy. I'll get that kickstand back on before I break it. The kickstand's probably one of the coolest parts of the design, and it's just a kickstand. Overall, you know, it's okay. It very much is, is what it is, and I feel like LEGO probably could have done a little bit better, especially in the front end here. And this fender right here because it's just it's just it's wobbly it's not fine i'm not really sure what that is it's a good printed piece though or is that a printed piece was that a printed piece no it's a sticker my bad i believe the uh that is a sticker it's this is uh the printed piece or is that a sticker as well did i even like build this no it is a printed piece and it's cool i'm i apologize i'm i'm heated this spare tire is pretty interesting. I like the, the Vespa on it. The stickers aren't that bad. There's a lot of stickers to it, but... And they do a decent job of blending in with the actual pastel blue of the rest of the set. For once... Oh, see, that piece was oh, in there, correct. And it's... Look, it's falling apart again. God damn it. Stop. Why? 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 Anyway, I think I just lost a piece. You do have a, um... You have your little struts here and your springs for suspension, which I do like that design on the side. You don't get it on the back one. And you do get a little muffler piece in the bottom, which is really cool. And it's a nice little detail. I don't, I don't wanna fucking pick it up. <laughs> I'm mad. And this piece of shit right here, which falls apart immediately. In the instructions, they, they explain why they added this in there. I remember it was Dulce something, I don't recall exactly what it is, but they put it in there for the 60s vibe and the style. 100% hate this fucking edition because, and I'm going to do this, and I know it's going to piss me off because it's just not going to work. If you, you can't really put it anywhere because it slides off, there's no grip to it, you can't put it, you put it down for a display piece, you can't really put it over here, I suppose, because it just slides again, and if you want to be cool and put it over here, the weight just fucking drip does that. So I'm just like, what's the point of it? It's just it's just none of their pieces that get to that. Like I'm paying a hundred dollars for a thousand pieces, cool. But it's a thousand one hundred and six pieces. And most of those pieces probably go into this. And I don't care for it and I don't know why it's here. And it's just it's just another set to lose over time. Like if I move or if I move my stuff around and try to do it, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna get lost and it's just here. It's just pieces you can part out stupid i guess if you like the vespa if you like the style of this then yes it's great jesus christ and that's pretty much all i have to say about the vespa 125 a hundred dollar mistake maybe i mean i have it and i like it i like to look at it we'll say that but i just don't want to fucking touch it i just it's cursed it just falls apart on you every second of the day. Maybe I'm just didn't build it correctly. Maybe it's just flimsy. I don't understand it. It's here. It's just gonna sit on my shelves and collect dust at this point. Conversation piece probably. 
but I, I honestly I don't recommend buying it. You can skip on this. These white wall tower, white wall tire, tires. Ugh. These white wall tires will be found in other places. I'm pretty sure Lego will use them. They've already made it, and they like to reuse pieces a lot. So if you're if you want in the in the market for these white walls, go buy them. Bricklink, go part it out. But for this to be a collectible, I don't really care unless you like Vespas. You like you like these modes of modes of transportation or you like the Vespa style and it's it's impact on the world and Italian culture but it's such a niche thing to do <laughs> such a niche model to build this is like okay I thought it'd be cool but it was not this is not interesting and that's all I have to say about the Vespa thanks for watching my review and be back with more